I was diagnosed with um, MS in 2009. Um, my first symptoms were that I used to fall as I was walking. Um, my leg would just give way for no reason whatsoever and I would fall flat to the floor. Um, I did this probably several times over uh, three years and the more times it happened the more I thought was it just me being um, clumsy and so I went to the doctors and I was tested for MS and I was actually had a diagnosis of MS after about six months. Um, I then researched uh, what treat. Well, I asked what tr treatment was available for me and they said there was nothing. Um, so I wasn't very happy with that, but I went away. I followed the the cons the um, neurologist advice, and uh, he said he just said go away, forget about it, and it may never get any worse. So and that's what I did. That over the next three years, I did get worse, and um, I again I asked the neurologist what could be done, and they said there was nothing. Uh, my daughter at the time was going to um, up to a university at Sheffield where they were doing um, stem cell research. So my daughter said, Dad, this stem cell research sounds really good. It could help you with your MS. Um, I tried to get on some trials and narrowly missed out by about three places. Uh, and so I thought, well, if I can't get on a trial in the UK, I'll, I'll look into going abroad um, and see what else is available. So that's when I found Swiss Medica uh, and I spoke to other companies as well, but Swiss Medica sounded very knowledgeable. They answered all my questions, um, they answered my concerns and uh, I just thought that's, that's gonna be what I'm gonna try. So I then went back to see my own neurologist um, told them what I was going to do or what I was thinking about doing going to to go to Russia uh, for stem cell treatment my neurologist said don't go don't waste your money it's a waste of time um, it's not proven in the UK uh, and basically don't bother so I asked my neurologist um, what he could do for me uh, and he said, well, basically nothing. So at the time, I was getting progressively worse. Um, and I thought to myself, well, I've got two options now. Do nothing with a guarantee of getting worse. Or do something with the hope that I may get a little bit better. So I've got no option. Um, lots of family, they said oh it's brave that you're going to go to Moscow on your own and I said no I'm not brave I've got no choice uh, I've just got to do it at the time I was 50 and I just felt like an 80 year old uh, because my walking was so bad so the, when I decided to go to Moscow the day I left for, for Moscow I was walking with a walking stick and I had to have an ankle brace on my ankle to stop my foot from dropping. Um, it was quite it was quite difficult to go through the airport. Um, I was taking my bag, um, and I, I really did struggle to get to Moscow. I was quite frightened. Um, it didn't really hit me until I got to into Russia, and I suddenly realised. This is a big. This is a big thing for somebody to be doing with MS uh, on their own. Um, but I did it. I got through the airport. So I've got, I got my baggage. I got to the uh, entrance to Moscow Airport, and um, somebody was there to meet me. They got their my name on their board, uh, and they put me into the p p private taxi, and uh, they took me to the clinic. Um, I had a little bit of a restless night, I was a little bit unsure, um, but the next day the doctors and the nurses were absolutely brilliant, they, they settled my nerves and uh, my treatment started straight away. Um, 
Within a few days, I'd already started to see a little bit of improvement. Um, and I think it was important as well to have the reassurance from the doctors and the nurses and to help me be more positive. Uh, and I think that that really helped um, a positive frame of mind uh, rather than being negative. Uh, the treatment was really good, it was painless. I had fat taken from uh, my stomach, I had bone marrow taken, I also had umbilical stem cells from a donor umbilical cord and I had some donor bone marrow as well. Uh, all of the procedures were, they, they, some were a little bit uncomfortable but they weren't, there was no pain involved, no worse than having an injection in, into a muscle in your arm really. So that, that was good. So when I left Moscow, um, I, was, I was actually walking better. Uh, and uh, I walked through the airport without my walking stick, without my ankle brace. Um, and I was absolutely amazed at that, that, uh, that the improvements. I went home and uh, I continued to make improvements. I started to go to the gym. Uh, to try to rebuild the muscle in my leg which had wasted through years of, of limping um, and I found that it was it was starting to get stronger my calf muscle was starting to get bigger and uh, everything was really really good it sometimes was very hard to push myself to go to the gym I would far rather have sat in the chair uh, at home and rested but you just have to push yourself sometimes and say this is for my own benefit and I'm going to help those little stem cells that are floating around my body I'm, I'm going to help them to work and to make to make a repair uh, so and that's exactly what I did having got having been home for um, probably eight months um, and I'd spoken to different people who'd been to um, Swiss Medica before uh, and I decided that I was going to go back to Moscow and have some more treatment to improve on my state, to, to, to give me more improvements. Uh, my walking was a lot better, I was walking without my stick, I was walking without my ankle brace, but I couldn't walk very far, so probably four or five minutes and um, that, I, that, that, was my, that was my limit. So. I phoned Swiss Medica, I made an appointment to go back to Moscow and uh, I, I knew all the I knew all the the procedures and I was happy this time so off I went to Moscow again. Two weeks um, and the same sort of treatments that I'd had before. Um, came away from Moscow with not very many improvements but over the next few months my improvements continued and I could then walk for probably 15 to 20 minutes unaided before I had to have a rest um, and I also I was doing more at the gym so I was able to build the weights up on the leg machines I started to go on the bike and I started to walk in the therapy pool uh, which helped my walking tremendously uh, I left left Moscow, went back home, continued with my gym, continued with the therapy, with the therapy pool um, and I thought that that was it, I didn't think I, I was going to go back for any more treatments whatsoever. Then I was talking to different people who had been to the Serbia clinic uh, with Swiss Medica and they really, really recommended how good that the physiotherapy was. Uh, physiotherapy is something that I'd only really had a little bit of in the UK and it was very, very minimal. Uh, they just gave you exercises to do, no real um, machines, no um, electric shocks, no, that, that it, was, it was just exercises and the people that had been to Serbia were saying how excellent the physio were and how much the physiotherapy had helped. So I thought, okay, maybe this is something that I should consider. Uh, so again, I contacted Swiss Medica and because I was now, 
I was happy with all of my improvements, but I want, I suppose one way of looking at it was I was greedy and I wanted more. So I phoned Swiss Medica and I booked to come to Belgrade and that's where I am today. Uh, and I have been here now for six days. I've had a marvelous, um, a marvelous reception. The staff are, are brilliant. The nurses are excellent. The doctors have been so knowledgeable and so helpful. And I have had the um, the backup of the physio, and the physiotherapy has been absolutely key to getting more movement in my leg. Um, I found now that I can. My leg is a lot. Uh, looser it's not as stiff and I can walk with more ease and I can walk a little bit more normally because in the nine years that I've limped I've picked up some really bad habits and it's habits that your brain seems to um, it just gets stuck and your brain tells your leg to do the wrong things so by talking to the physiotherapy uh, they've said you've really got to retrain your brain and you've al almost got to go back to when you were a child and you were beginning to walk and instead my, my own uh, fault was I used to swing my leg to the side to clear the ground whereas I have to now my brain has to tell my leg to lift my knee not to swing to the side and little things like that I didn't realise that I was doing but the physiotherapist mm -hmm. was able to say when you walk you're walking wrong you, 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 you're not doing the right action so uh, I, I've, I've had two, two to two and a half hours physiotherapy every day up to now and I'm now into my sixth day and uh, in the UK if you go for physiotherapy they might, might give you 20 minutes half an hour once a week and that's as much as you can get so I think that's that's very very a major um, thing about coming to Serbia coming to Belgrade and uh, having that one-on-one um, -on -one physiotherapy uh, I think that's made a big big difference to my walking now so I've spoken to a lot of people about my MS and about my experiences it both in Moscow and in Belgrade um, people have asked me why did I need to go for a second time did it not work the first time and I have said no it's not that it's because each time um, I've had a progression of improvements and and I've just wanted to go back for more um, importantly each time uh, the progression has got better and it hasn't got worse so when I've gone home um, I haven't got worse again that was why I wanted to go back again I've, as I said I've spoken to many people since they've been really interested about my journey and my story and I have recommended to everybody that if they know of anybody with a disability of any sort because stem cells don't differentiate just for MS it can it can be for Parkinson's it can be for all sorts of different things and I would strongly recommend people to take it on their own um, shoulders and to say I'm gonna go for this I'm gonna try it at least they're giving themselves some hope and it's more than you will get when consultants at home tell you there's nothing more that can be done and I'm certainly grateful to all of Swiss Medica to the staff both at Moscow and at Belgrade uh, for helping me and to give me my life back I now feel like a 53 year old instead of an 80 year old and to me that's a big that, that really is a big thing and to my family also they feel like they've got their dad back their partner back the son back and um, I, I think that it's it's been very emotional for everybody but I, I do 
very strongly want to say to everybody just do something do, don't don't be content with the neurologists at back home saying there's no more that can be done there is something that can be done and I'm proof of that and so are many many others